I'm MC Tune. So there's a guy in England claiming LED streetlights are 5G weapons systems. His name is Mark Steele and claims to be a weapons expert, though he studied psychology at college. It's unclear how or where he would have gained any expertise in weapons. I'm going to look at his claims one topic at a time. This is the first video, and I'll cover the antenna in the streetlight and what he says about it. Before looking at his claims, I'll cover really basic antenna design. Enough to understand what type of antenna you'll see later in this video. This is so you can be informed when Mark starts to make up stories about antennas. But I'll do more than just tell you about antennas and ask you to rely on my expertise. I'll include links in the description to websites, instructional videos, and books on antennas if you want to be better informed about antennas or double check anything I say, please do so. Just like you should not rely on Mark Steele's claimed expertise without verification, neither should you rely on mine. One of the simplest antennas is a monopole antenna. It's basically just a wire. When a signal is transmitted, it goes out in per perpendicular to the wire in all directions the strongest signal traveling out in a donut shape outward from the antenna. Since it sends the signal in all directions, it's called omnidirectional. An omnidirectional antenna cannot concentrate the signal in any one direction. It also receives signals in all directions. An omnidirectional antenna can't measure the, can measure the strength of a received signal, but has no way to determine the direction that a signal came from. Antennas are also designed to work best for certain frequency ranges. For a monopole antenna, this is simply how long the wire is. Usually the wire is one quarter of the wavelength of the radio wave. These are called quarter wave monopole antennas. They're super common. I made some quarter wave monopole antennas. This one is 13 centimeters. It's tuned for 577 megahertz. This one is 8.6 centimeters, it's tuned for 868 megahertz. And this one is six centimeters, tuned for 1.2 gigahertz. There's more to antenna design than, than just the wire length. Uh, for example, grounding plane resistance, impedance matching. I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, if you want, you can look at the videos um, or other links in the description if you're interested. Um, my retired wireless Ethernet access point has two monopole antennas. Wireless Ethernet uses 2.4 gigahertz signals and newer wireless uses uh, 5 gigahertz. Don't be confused between 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and 5G cell phone networks. They're completely different. So this is a ruggedized external monopole antenna. It goes on a light pole or some, something like that in a city to provide access outside to, to people who want um, Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. This is, this is the inside of one I took apart. Uh, you can see it's just got the connector there and then it's got these little um, sections and each section is a part of an antenna. Basically, these are each monopole antennas. It's got a little uh, curl in there. These are there for a specific reason. I won't get into that. You can read up on that if you want in the, the links that I have in the description here. So if you ever see an antenna and it's just a straight piece of wire, it's most likely an omnidirectional quarter wave monopole antenna. Really simple. This should give you enough information to understand the antenna you will see in this video. So let's have a look at what Mark has to say about this streetlight. Hi everybody. Right, well, as you'll see, this is the equipment that's been fitted uh, by councils across the country. This is shared as uh, we've had a whistleblower sent us the information and obviously we've got a box delivered by a whistleblower at one of the councils, all right? Because obviously the people are very concerned in the lighting department about what this equipment is and, the, and I've been asked to actually review it. Because this is a weapon system, all right? It's nothing more than a weapon. Now I know it's masquerading as a light, but it's a weapon. All right, so let's just show you. Let's just break this whole thing down and show people what this is, all right? 
I'm going to first of all, I'm going to take this piece, this antenna piece to pieces. All right, people have seen it before. They've seen the breakdown. All right, let's just unloosen this piece here. All right, let's just break this down and let's show people what this is. All right, this is the Harvard piece of technology. Obviously, that's the antenna. So have a look at that antenna. It's just a piece of copper conductor printed on a piece of non-conducting silicon. It is a quarter wave monopole antenna, just like I was talking about before. One of the most basic antennas possible. In this video from Mar, in a different video, we can see he has the model number on the device. It is WMLN868A. The device is an 868 megahertz wireless network device so that the, the city can turn on and off the lights and monitor them for health, uh, for safety, for um, if there's a problem with the device. Um, remember the antenna I made, the quarter wavelength monopole antenna tuned to 868 megahertz? It's the same as the one Mark is holding. It's not a high gain antenna. High gain antennas are directional this is an omnidirectional antenna. It has no way to focus the beam. See the links in the description for in information on what constitutes a high gain antenna. Now, if only Mark had the basic education antennas that you now have, he wouldn't make false claims he's about to do here. It's a radar piece of equipment. You can see that. Now, this is a strange claim. Radar is highly directional. Radar usually has a moving directional antenna like this one. It's necessary to move the antenna to determine direction. The antenna Mark has cannot rotate. It has no way to determine direction from a received signal. Now, why would Mark say this? He claims he's an expert, but this is completely wrong. That antenna is one of the cheapest and most basic antennas possible. This isn't a little wrong. This is like calling a tricycle a Ferrari. Is Mark lying about his expertise? This has got the 450 volt capacitor on it. And you see the cabling. It's really important to see that cabling. This is the delivery system. Yeah, yeah, thin, low, uh, low power wires. Like these, um, these are just standard Molex uh, cables out of a regular desktop computer. That cable that he's holding can't handle high power. It would melt. Now, if you wanted to have high power, you might want to have a, a, a cable like this one here. Uh, this can handle high power, but obviously that that's not what he's holding. He has just this little these little basic ones like this that would would melt if you put anything through it. Let's just show people this is not a dipole antenna. No kidding, no. it's not a dipole antenna. It's even more basic than a dipole antenna. It's a monopole antenna. It's the like basically as as simple as an antenna can get. It's a high gain dielectric lens antenna. All right. Now, he said this is a high-gain dielectric lens antenna. Uh, now, Mark is blatantly lying and hoping nobody goes to Google and types dielectric lens antenna. It's what I did because that type of antenna has a lens unlike the one Mark is holding, a physical lens to focus the, the, the beam. Mark is absolutely full of crap. Or maybe he's senile and suffering from Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Don't know. Whatever it is, it's absolutely a lie. Equipment. This can target a choir. It's real. That's a scanner. All right, it's a scanning antenna. Mark is intentionally using scary language here to try to, I don't know, frighten people in his stream of lies. Uh, he's trying to convince people he's an expert and there's no need to look elsewhere, right? But uh, there are literally millions of people in the world that know enough about antennas to know that he's lying, absolutely lying. So Mark, why are you lying? This is a little suspicious. Um, I'd say it's actually really suspicious. I could see maybe two reasons why he would be lying about this one it could be that he really doesn't understand what he's talking about, but he thinks he is an expert 
In that case, we have a name for that. That's Dunning-Kruger, where you have a tiny bit of expertise in something or knowledge, <laughs> no expertise really, uh, but you have this high level of confidence. So um, I think that could be it. Uh, the other option that I can think of is that he's just trying to scam people and he knows that he's lying um, for some reason. Uh, he does have some sort of a nonprofit that uh, he's always trying to send people to that um, I think he might be profiting from. I don't know. Um, so it could be that. It could be that he's just a bumbling idiot. Um, let's go with bumbling idiot. Yeah, Mark Steele is an absolute moron. He has no clue about electronics. He's lying and he, he probably knows that he really doesn't understand these things. He's making up stuff like it's a, a lensing antenna when there's absolutely no op opportunity for a lens to be on the device. So um, there's a lot, lot of other problems that Mark has in his, uh, his videos uh, about the, when he's analyzing the electronics. It's, it's, if it wasn't so dangerous, it would be funny watching such an idiot do these things. Um, but it is dangerous because it's getting people worked up and people are actually burning down uh, cell phone towers. Uh, cell phone towers that carry 911 emergency information or in England 999. So these towers are being burnt down and then people can't call in case of emergencies. Very bad idea to do this. And uh, Mark says that he doesn't want uh, this, this stuff to happen, but people are watching what he's doing and getting freaked out about it, thinking that these are weapons. They're not weapons. They're just lights. There's antennas on them so that they can talk to the, the network and get information from and controls for on and off times from the, the central computer. So that's all I have on antennas. Uh, I will have another video addressing um, the capacitors and and uh, some of the other topics that he covers. Um, maybe the, the the actual light he claims they're lasers. Um, so I'll do that later. Be watching for that. Make sure you uh, like this video and subscribe if you thought this was useful. If you disagree with me, feel free to tell me in the comments. And if you are Mark Steele, you're an idiot. Thanks. <laughs>